Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so excited that you're here today. Hi, hi. It's Z. That's right. My name is Z, and I'm from Wonder Spark Puppets. And today we are going to be making something really, really awesome. It is Mythical Creatures Week here at Wonder Spark Puppets. That means that all of our puppet DIYs are going to be mythical creatures Monday through Sunday. And today's mythical creature is a jackalope. That's right. It's a bunny with antlers, a jackalope. It's so cool. And he can hop. Here, I'll show you how he hops in just one second. Let me get my little board together down here, move some things. All right, and I'll show you how he hops. So this is our little jackalope puppet that we'll be making today. And he can hop this way, or he can hop towards you. And he's just this really great little puppet made out of materials that you have in your house. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is look at our materials list. All right, Jackalope, you hop over here. Okay. So let's take a look at our materials list and see what we will need today for our Jackalope puppet craft. We will need a pattern. And there should be a link to the pattern in the uh, show notes for this video and also in the comments section if you're watching on Facebook. You'll need cardstock or a cereal box, but something thick. We tried it with construction paper, it just works okay. So if you have cardstock or a cereal box, that is your go-to your go materials for today. You're also going to want a pencil some scissors, markers, tape, two popsicle sticks, and then we have some optional items, pink construction paper, googly eyes, a pom-pom, and some glue and a glue stick. And I use a glue dot too, because I have those. All right, so go ahead, get your materials, and then come on back here and let's make our jackalope puppet. I'm going to get my materials. They're over here in my little materials box. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So come on over and have a look. Oh, I think I left one thing. No, I didn't. Hmm. Strange. Uh, I don't have my pattern. That's all right. I will figure it out. I must have left it in the other room, possibly, or it got used for something else. I'm gonna look one more time. No, I don't see it anywhere. But that is okay. We are going to plow forward. So your pattern is gonna look something like this. And maybe my assistant who's listening in will see the pattern on the table out there, or we can uh, put something together. But if not, I can wing it. <laughs> because your pattern is gonna look like this and have all the parts to trace out. Oh. Hello, hello. Your pattern is in the scanner. The pattern's in the scanner. Live theater, ladies and gentlemen. Haha! -ha. Because that's how we were able to get the pattern to all of you by scanning it. There it is. It exists. It lives. The pattern. Okay. So, this is the pattern that you're going to want to print out. And once you've printed that out, you're going to want to cut it out. Okay? So, let's get our scissors. And we're gonna cut out the pattern. And when you're cutting it out, you're gonna see that there's some fancy cutting happening here. And it's gonna end up looking like this, all right? And I'm gonna show you a way to cut it so that it's not so difficult. Cause this is looking like, oh my goodness, how is that gonna happen? But I promise you it's not that hard. I practiced it earlier. So the first thing we're gonna cut out is our feet. These little shapes right here. Now, in case you didn't know, Wonder Spark Puppets does uh, puppet DIYs live on our Facebook page every single day. Can you believe it? We have almost 50 puppet DIYs at this point. We started in mid-March doing puppet DIYs every day, uh, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays 
at 10 a.m. And then Fridays are super special because not only do we have a puppet DIY at 4 p.m., but we also have a puppet show at 11 a.m. And every Friday it's a different show and it's really exciting. This week's show, The Not So Spooky Ghost. So be sure to tune in. It's a show for family audiences. It's a not so spooky show. If you're missing Halloween or maybe I know some schools are doing uh, theme weeks or spirit week and they're celebrating different holidays for fun. We are celebrating Halloween on Friday and we hope that you will be in the mood to celebrate with us with the Not So Spooky Ghost this Friday at 11 a.m. And if you haven't already, make sure that you like and follow our Facebook page because that is always going to tell you when we're live, when we're doing things. And all of our Puppet DIY videos are archived on our videos page. And our puppet shows that we perform on Fridays can be viewed for one week on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. And you should subscribe to YouTube because that's another way to be able to watch us. I know some people it's easier to watch uh, things on the internet on their TV on YouTube. Okay, so we've done a lot of the big cuts, right? But we need to cut out this fancy part right in here. Well, how do we do that? Okay, so watch. I'm going to stick my scissors very carefully and make a tiny little hole right in here. And then I'm going to cut down the side of one ear. Okay, I know this is tricky, so if you need an adult's help for this, totally cool. All right, now, instead of going down the side of the ear, I'm going to go around like this. Okay. And then go around like this. So now I'm going around to the other side of the other ear. And down that other line on the other side. So now we have our uh, head cut out and we have this fancy part left to cut. And the fancy part is not so hard. You just have to take your time with it. So I suggest going down one ear, okay? and then going into the side here like this and cutting out that little section there and just take your time with it. Our cat is being very silly right now. She's kind of running all over the place. She must be a little wound up. Do you guys have any pets at home? What are your pets and what are their names? Tell us in the comments. We have a cat and her name is Aura. We also have two rats as pets. That's right, we have rats as pets. We had them before we had the cat. It was an unexpected, the cat was an unexpected but wonderful addition to our family about a year ago. So you can see how I'm doing that and then just go around and cut the other side just like that. Now I have one already cut out right here, all ready to go, so we're gonna use that. The magic of uh, television is happening right now. So now I have my pattern all cut out. So now what do we do? Well, we're gonna take our piece of cardstock, or if you don't have cardstock, cereal box. A cereal box, a big cereal box will work for this, okay? But you want something thick and has like some nice bend to it, okay? So regular paper or construction paper is not gonna work as well. So we're gonna place our pattern onto our cardstock. And I'm going to take my pencil and we're going to trace it. Okay? How has everybody's Wednesdays been going today? Here in New York City, because that's where we're from, New York City, it has been a little bit of a rainy day and has cooled off a little bit this weekend. It was quite warm. Now it's rainy, it's a little colder. So it's a nice day to be inside actually. We got some schoolwork done. My son is reading 
The Witches by Roald Dahl and really enjoying it quite a bit. I see Christy says she has two dogs. Hi Christy, thanks for watching. Now when we get to this interior part, lift up the head, trace all along the inside shape. Okay. Now you're going to put the head back down and you're going to trace along the inside of the ears right here and then the antlers. All right, because the fun thing about a jackalope is that it's a bunny with antlers or jackrabbit with antlers. And you know, jackalopes, they say, kind of come from Wyoming the Wyoming area as a mythical creatures. But what was so interesting that I learned today is that there are actually different versions of the jackalope in lots of uh, European countries as well. And some of them, check this out, some of them have wings. Can you believe it? Isn't that so cool? So maybe if we do mythical creatures week again and I make another version of a jackalope, I'm gonna make it with wings. That sounds awesome. But I don't remember what that, uh, creature specifically was called. It was not called a jackalope. It was something else, but it was very similar. Okay, so we have traced out our pattern, just like that. Okay, it looks just like the other pattern. And if there's some spots where your ears aren't connected, go ahead and fill those in. All right, and now what we're gonna do, see, fill in my, ear, my ears, make sure that your ears are all connected. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to trace out two feet. Oop, here's one foot. And I'm going to use the same shape. I only put two, um, two cutouts in the pattern because I want people to know that that's how much material you're going to need when we're when you're making your puppet so if we if we just put it once sometimes it's not clear okay so now this is going to be our puppet all right we traced it out from our pattern we have it on our material now we're going to cut out our final puppet right here just like this oh you know i didn't tell you our rats names they're pretty awesome names. They were named by our two sons. One is named Softy, and the other is named Gray Spot Star Sword. And uh, they're pretty awesome. They're really great pets. You can teach them tricks. As far as like tiny little mammals go, like hamsters and guinea pigs and hedgehogs and things, uh, we've had almost all of those. And I would say that the uh, the rats have been the most uh, the most fun to have as a pet. They really enjoy people. Surprisingly enough. And the jackalope, unfortunately they say that it is a mythical creature. That means that it's not real, but I like to think that the jackalope is real. When I learned about jackalopes a few years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, that has got to be one of my favorite mythical creatures. It's just so cool. I love the way that the, the, the bunny looks with the antlers coming out of his head. It's super fun. And you know what? You can make your puppet however you want. Um, I was experimenting earlier with um, using pipe cleaners for antlers, and that was looking really cute, especially if you're using cardstock as your paper or a cereal box, something that could really hold up the, the pipe cleaners. But for this, we wanna make it simple because we know that everybody is home right now, social distancing. So we wanna make sure that we're working with materials that people have in their homes. All right, so we're doing our fancy cuts. Okay, and now we get to the tricky part. Now remember how we did this before? I'm gonna go up to the top. Oop careful. <laughs> I'm going to make a little hole with my scissors. Oh, somebody says it is beautiful in Ohio. That's so nice. 
it's always nice to hear that it's beautiful where other people are. And we're going to go around the side of the ear, just like this, and down the side of the head. There we go. And coming back up to the top. And again, I recognize that this part is a little bit tricky, so if you need an adult's help, this would be the time to ask them. And make sure that you ha are using scissors that are, you know, sharp. You don't want dull scissors for this. It would make things a little more complicated. Okay, and again, you're going to go down the side. Remember we were talking last week about moving the material? It's okay to move the material around a little bit. It's easier to move the material than it is to move your scissors. So once you have your head cut out, what you're going to want to do is go in and cut around your ears. So do one nice long cut around this ear, okay? And then what we're going to do is go down and do the other ear. Nice long cut all the way down. Okay, and now all we have to do is cut out our antlers, okay? So you take your time, deep breath. <laughs> Again, feel free to move the material around if you need to. And just do some nice little cuts to cut out your antlers. And again, you can also, if you're feeling like this is, this is too tricky, you can make some antlers and tape them on later. You can use pipe cleaners for antlers. There's all sorts of ways that you can adapt this and make it your own. This is just what I'm doing here in my little workshop space. And I'm excited to see what you do. So if you make this craft, please, please, please let us know. Take a picture of it, put it in the comments, and you can be featured in our Master Crafters Monday where we show pictures from all of our fans who have made puppets from our DIY workshops the previous week. Okay, we're almost done cutting out our antlers. There we go. Boop. Okay, and then we're going to cut this one just a little bit. Today was exciting because Chad got to perform for a school group all the way in Miami. Yeah, that's right, all the way in Miami, and we're in New York City. And that would never have gotten to happen before all this craziness. So if you're watching School Group from Miami, thank you so much for having us perform in your classroom space online today. Chad had a really great time, and it was super fun. He did uh, The Three Little Pigs. And if you have a school or a library that would like to have Wonderspark come in and uh, perform, let us know. We would love to do that. Okay, so we have our pattern cut out and we have our feet cut out. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make our bunny look more bunny-like. So I have some pink construction paper, just some scrap here, and I'm gonna cut out two ear sh shapes. I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's kind of like a petal on a flower, a long petal. Or a tall triangle. Right? You see that? So that's what I'm cutting out. And that's going to go right here. I'm going to glue stick that on. So I'm going to do one more. Yeah, think like a petal on a flower or think of like a long triangle, but my edges are a little curved on my triangle. And I'm going to do that here. Now, if you don't want to cut out um, pink scrap construction paper, that's okay. You can take your markers. Markers are great. Just fill it in with some marker. I have a glue stick here. I'm just going to put some glue stick on the back of that and paste it on just like that. And I'm going to do that to the other side. There we go. Just like that. Now, I want these antlers to look brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my scrap from when I was cutting and put it underneath. 
And then I have a brown marker right here and I'm gonna color in my antlers. And the reason that I put the scrap underneath is because these antlers are kind of little and I don't wanna get marker on my table. So it's just make, helping me to make sure that I don't, uh, I don't get marker on my table. So I'm gonna color in one antler. I'm gonna, see, there's one. And then I'm gonna move my paper, my scrap underneath over and then do the other antler. Now I have two colored in antlers. Just like that. And now you can take a marker and put some eyes on your face. The eyes would be right here. I have some googly eyes because, you know, puppeteer. You always got a bin of googly eyes hanging out. So I'm gonna use two googly eyes. There's one. And here is number two. Just like that. And now I'm gonna go back to that pink construction paper scrap again. Cause you know, whenever I'm making something, I always keep the scrap. I think the scrap was from when I made my Pegasus puppet on Monday. And I cut a very small little triangle out of my pink construction paper. And I'm gonna take that, put some glue stick on it. And put that with the point down point facing down onto my bunny face, just like that. And now I'm gonna give my bunny some whiskers, three little whiskers and a little mouth. And the mouth is like a J one way without the dot on top and then a backwards J butting up against it without the dot on top. And there is my bunny face, but it's not a puppet yet. So we have a couple more things that we need to do in order for it to become a puppet. One of the things I'm gonna do to make it extra special is I have a pom-pom here and I'm gonna attach the pom-pom to the back so that it can have a little tail. Cause, oh my goodness, bunny tails, they're so cute. They're the cutest. So I have a glue dot here, but you could use white glue. Glue dots are just great because live television is happening and we want to make sure that everything can go, you know, pretty quickly. You can't wait around for 20 minutes while the glue dries. So I stuck on my glue dot and my bunny tail is on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to our feet and we just want to give those a little bend. So about an inch up from the tip of the foot, I'm gonna bend my foot up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other foot, just like that, so that my feet bend. So when I lean it forward, he has his front little feet to stand on. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back of the puppet and Flip our bunny over so that his, fa he, his face is facing down. I have the tail towards me. And I have our bunny feet right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one foot and I'm gonna bend a little tab right into that. You see that my tab that I bent? And then I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna glue it and I'm gonna tape it. Cause I have both things right here, so why not? So I'm gonna put some glue on the tab just like that, okay? And then I'm going to glue it onto the back so that the bend is flush with the butt of the bunny, the bunny butt. And then I'm gonna take some tape and just really go over that tab as well, just to make sure it's on there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one
bend a little tab at the end. You want to make sure that, I, I think it's maybe about, uh, I don't know, it's about a half an inch. Put some glue stick on that. Line that up onto the edge of your bunny butt. Bunny butt. And now we're going to take a piece of tape and just tape that tab on. Okay? We're very close to this being a puppet, you guys. It's not a puppet yet, though. Right now it's just a cool sculpture. We're going to make it into a puppet using our two popsicle sticks. Okay? We're done with our glue stick, so I'm going to put that away. Now, I'm going to turn my bunny puppet to the side, clear off my workspace a little, and I have my two popsicle sticks. I'm going to take my tape, and I'm going to tape my popsicle stick onto the side, right behind the front paw. You see that? And I'm not taping a lot on, maybe about an inch of the popsicle stick is getting taped on, right behind the front paw. And then also on the back right here, same thing, behind the back foot, okay? And when you're taping a stick on like this, you wanna make sure that you have a nice amount of surface area that's touching the tape. So what does that mean? So when I'm taping, I push down on the stick first, then I go to one side of the popsicle stick and make sure that it's really nicely attached to the paper. And then I go to the other side and make sure that it's really nicely attached and all sides feel like the tape is sticking. And then we turn it over and voila! We have our jackalope bunny ready to hop. And I wanna show you guys real quick some puppet technique of hopping our jackalope. So when we're hopping our jackalope puppet, you wanna kinda of think about the different parts of the hopping motion, okay? So it's not, you could do that, but it, this allows for you to kinda of do something like this, right? Where we're bringing our feet up, and then back feet up, and then back feet down, and front feet down. Let's try that again. Front feet up, front feet down, back feet down. Okay, oh. My tape broke. More tape. Hold on. There we go. Two pieces. Okay. So let's try that again. So front feet up, back feet up. Front feet down, back feet down. And then you have a really nice hopping bunny puppet. But not just a bunny, a mythical creature called a jackalope. <laughs> well, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today in our mythical creature jackalope DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please be, for, be sure to tell other people about Wonder Spark Puppets. We are doing these DIY workshops every single day, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. And then also there's another way that you can support the work that we're doing, and that is by visiting our website. That's right, you can go to our website, and there's so many different ways that you can um, support the work that we're doing. You could have a live puppet chat with your family or friends, uh, with any puppet. You can send a loved one a puppet telegram. There's all sorts of cool things that you can do uh, that are part of uh, supporting this amazing work. And the other cool thing that you can do is you could become a member. You can become a member of Wonder Spark Puppets and uh, support us in a, in a way that is ongoing. So uh, we wanna thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you'll tune in again and see another puppet craft. And please, if you decide to make a jackalope puppet, make sure that you share it uh, with us so that we can see your amazing creation. Again, my name is Z, and this is my mythical creature, my jackalope, and we are signing off for today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>